What's up everyone, welcome back to Practical Gunners. I know we haven't posted in a while, but my God, we've got some amazing content coming out. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you hit the bell. And for those of you who are new, let me just explain a little bit about what this channel is uh, about. I don't know if that made sense, but whatever. If you follow us on Heavy Duty Country, we call out politicians and people who just bend over for gun control. But on this channel, what we do is we mainly make fun of people who make the Second Amendment look bad. And when I say that, it's people who are stupid with guns. Mainly just thugs and, and criminals who haven't figured out what a holster is yet. Or maybe the fact that putting your activities online is probably not a good idea. But they do put it online and they continue to and that's why we're gonna continue to f with them. All right, folks, imagine this. What if Raid Shadow Legends sponsored this video? You get to hear about their collection of over 700 unique champions, a super detailed and tactical RPG battle system, and incredible graphics. Well, lucky for you, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, so let me tell you more. Raid Shadow Legends is expanding their roster of awesome looking champions with a new rarity mythical. A step above legendary champions, these new mythical champions have a special new mechanic called metamorph that allows them to change them between two different forms. So you can summon these awesome new mythical champions from the brand new primal red shards in the portal. A mythical champion's two forms both use the same artifacts, accessories, masteries, and blessing. So be careful when you're choosing how to use them. Now for new players, you can get your hands on Stag Knight, one of the best epic champions around, as well as a skin designed for Stag Knight made by John Tron. Just use the promo code JTSKIN before October 7th. It's as easy as that. And don't worry, if you're not a new player, you can still get Stagnite and the skin through an in-game event. Everybody likes free stuff, right? Check out Sun Wukong, Raid's take on the Monkey King from the Chinese mythology. He's made a grand appearance in this game and it couldn't be easier to get him. Just log in on seven different days from now until October 23rd and you'll get your hands on him. Use my link in the description or scan my QR code on the screen to get insane bonuses. We're talking an epic champion knight errant and other useful things. Energy refills, skill tomes, and an XP booster. So just hit my link in the description and I'll see you in the battlefield. So without further ado, here we go. Look, if there was an outfit that I could put together that says that's my kind of style, that would be it. I'm joking. I mean, my God. Are you confused, man? You look like you're in a fashion show slash Pride Month. How does that work? Whole lot of stick shit, man. You know. I whole lot of them. I mean, my God, you, you got a whole forest behind you, and the amount of sticks that you can find in there. Oh, oh, you weren't you weren't talking about that. You were talking about guns. Okay. Well, figure out words. All right, because. A stick does not shoot things, doesn't. So I know you guys got a code word and, and whatever else you got, but um, if you want a stick, just head back about 120 feet and, and you'll find a bunch of them. We ain't even to play with nobody for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all that five, five, six more, get that, gonna bust your tater off. What did he say? I'm gonna bust your taters off? Get that. Don't bust the tater long. I don't know why you would be shooting there to start off with, but okay. Oh yeah, this is my little babe. I keep this on the street. You know what I mean? Then I got some shit right here. It's just a little Smith and Wesley mall. For now let me ask you, sir. Wh where do you keep that? Is that, you got like a whole, like Velcro in there where you stick a holster on there or is it just, I don't know, is it in your armpit? What happens when you're at the grocery store and you gotta like reach for a steak? Just everything falls down, including your pants? Oh no, you got more, okay. Uh, I think I got a Glock more soon. Oh yeah, that just that baby Glock more. <laughs> oh man, that must have hurt pulling it out of your ass. Where did you pull that out of? I mean, I think I got a Glock more soon. Oh yeah, that just that baby Glock more. Also, by the way, who who is your mom? You really should <laughs> figure it out. You got like a whole group of guys filming this for you, and you're just calling them all motherfuckers. If there are that many guys 
banging your mom, you, I mean, you got a lot of guns, so you, you should figure something out. By the way, how does your ass feel after you pulled that Glock out of it? No, oh, I forgot about the- How did you forget? Okay. <laughs> I forgot about the beat Glock, hey, like that, <laughs> yeah. How do you forget about a gun that's in your armpit? How do you forget that? I mean, is it, does it feel like you just put deodorant on and, and that's just what it feels like? You put that much deodorant on that it's like, okay, that's either deodorant or a gun. I mean, I got a, I got a whole stick of deodorant on this side and then let me double check. Oh, I got a gun on this side, okay. How does that, how does that work? Once again, if you're pumping fuel, how do you reach? For it. Do you just walk around all day like this? Hey guys, what are you doing? <laughs> no, no, I got guns in my own pits, yeah. Yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to know that you like to party, sir. Um, probably not a, a good combination with carrying that many guns without holsters and uh, being high as f on cocaine, but you know, whatever, whatever works. Maybe you're not, maybe you're just doing a little ad for people who you want to sell to. Okay, next up, we got something that I just, uh, I, I can't even say anything about it until we just start it. <laughs> oh, bless these people's hearts. So look, I love to fish. I'm a huge fisherman. And uh, one thing that I've, I've never really done is try to shoot fish with a gun mainly because if you hit it it's it's got a hole in it so it's probably gonna sink i'm not really sure but it's not like bow fishing to where you can reel it in you're not tying a string around around and then shooting it guns don't work like that so here we got this guy in, in his gap shirt and hat um just looking for fish sir <laughs> If I could say one thing, do you know what a, a rock is? You're standing on one. Do you know that in fact a rock can ricochet around right back up your nose or into an eyeball or straight through your teeth? No, you didn't, you didn't know that? Okay, well, hopefully you don't figure it out in this video. <laughs> well, um, all you managed to do is really, really up your gun, blow your hat off, and, and spray your buddy like you're a, a squirter. Look at your gun. I mean, if you're trying to catch something, it looks like you, you caught a shorter gun and a couple of sticks just coming out of it. What did you think was gonna happen? Do you think you're gonna shoot a fish and, and everything's gonna be okay? Y'all would just go eat? I mean, I guess now the only thing is to just be a witch for Halloween. I mean, you got a witch's broom in your hand. That's the only thing that would really make sense at this point. Your buddy's looking at you like, yeah, yeah, we, well, you just did this, not we, I was just watching. 